the blue shirt. Governor, I think you wanted to add to that, Jim. Governor, my name is Michael Rayner. Um, I'm a person who lives with AIDS here in Florida, and my question is to echo on um, public education. First, let me commend you and the state legislature for the huge commitment in uh, public funding that is put into AIDS fund programs. Your leadership as Attorney General also to really um, go after the uh, medical practices that have been bilking our Medicare and Medicaid programs for uh, fraudulent billing. I commend you on that. Um, my question pertains more toward um, abstinence-only programs. The state of Florida right now, we find ourselves during hard economic times, and one of the things is trying to cut out things in our budget that really don't have a place there, or things that really might jeopardize um, and cost us more as taxpayers. Right now, the state of Florida is one of few states remaining in the nation that accepts abstinence-only fundings. Last year, approximately 14 states in the nation jumped ship and refused to accept federal funding for abstinence-only programs that are proven to be ineffective. Not only does the state of Florida accept those dollars, but the state of Florida goes well and above and actually contributes $1.5 million in excess of its federal mandate. Monies that now also warrant the need to contribute to programs that the state of Florida pays in, in managed care and treatment. Um, would you, Governor, look at that issue and commit to possibly um, rejecting abstinence-only Title V funding, which is really a savings in this state and really teaches our children the true message. Abs I mean, there are children that mostly are minorities in broken homes. I come from a broken home, and my situation is partially as a result of what my life experience was. We need to protect our children with real education that, that will prepare them for this world today. Thank you. No, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm happy to look at it, of course, and uh, review what the amount is and, and how those monies are utilized to make sure that they're utilized in an appropriate fashion. Um, you know, health care generally is incredibly important to all of us. And, you know, whether it's talking about an abstinence program or the delivery of health care uh, to our people, especially those that are less fortunate economically. And we have some good news on that front that I'd like to share with you. Um, Again, thanks to the Florida legislature, we were able to pass a program last year called Cover Florida. Cover Florida is new health care that's available to uh, any Floridian. Um, last year, we got the numbers that we had about 4 million of our fellow Floridians that didn't have health care insurance at all for anything. And, you know, when I saw that, it, it you know, breaks your heart. And so you want to have, you know, can you imagine, I'm, I'm sure some of you can, the kind of worry that that presents to somebody as an individual, or even more so as a parent. I mean, thinking about what happens if I get some kind of catastrophic illness, or if one of my children do, how am I going to pay for it? Especially when we're facing the economy that we are today. So I asked some very smart people in our administration if they could start to think of ways, without taxing you more, that we could come up with a program to provide health care coverage across the board you know, from a, a Chevy-type plan to a Cadillac-type plan that would give it to you at a rate that you can afford. Today, in America, it costs about $700 to $900 a month, if not more, to buy health insurance coverage. We were able to get this plan passed simply by negotiating well with health insurance companies in Florida and now you can provide and purchase, if you haven't had health insurance in the past, health coverage in Florida for around $100 a month. It's unheard of. And so if you go to myflorida.com, you can check into it. If you don't have health coverage today, and be eligible for it and have a chance to have a, some peace of mind. So there, there are good things that, that are happening.